Welcome again to my audiobook on Chanakya in Daily Life by Radhakrishnan Pillai. Introduction in Radhakrishnan Pillai's own words. Who was Chanakya? He was one of the greatest thinkers India has produced. He was a master of many subjects. No, no, I correct myself. He was a master of all subjects. These were the words of the vice chancellor of a university when he was launching my book. I had just then completed taking a series of lectures for about 300 students on Chanakya and his ideas being applied in professional careers. When the vice chancellor said those words, it hit me hard that there are few parallels in world history who could speak on so many subjects, philosophy, public administration, military, warfare, economics, politics, strategy, taxation, law, crime and control, punishments, duties of individuals, gemology, Ayurveda, yoga, etc. The list goes on. Even though in Arthashastra, Chanakya has written on 180 topics, there are many subtopics within each topic. I have personally counted over 1000 topics that Chanakya had spoken and written about. But then, every time I think of any problem, I always find a Chanakya solution to it. When I met Kapish Mehra of Rupa Publications for the first time and discussed the idea of this book, we brainstormed on many themes. Finally, we decided the theme for this book, Chanakya in Daily Life. For me, it became easy to focus from, the po- from that point on. Because when we look into the literature Chanakya had written, it is so vast, 6,000 sutras in Arthashastra and Chanakya Niti. So, that just narrowed it down well for me. Who would be the readers of our book? The target audience? Was my next question. Anyone and everyone who wants to practice Chanakya in daily life in simple, easy-to-practice steps was our conclusion. Therefore, the book that you are hearing right now is simple and profound. Now, anyone can benefit from the wisdom of the great master Chanakya.